Hi, Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle Line Art School Drawing Challenge. How to draw a fabric knot. For this observational drawing, I start by making a knot in a piece of fabric. Next, I look at what I can see and draw a very quick sketch losing a soft pencil line of everything all in one go. For this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil. At this stage, I don't want to draw any details at all, and I just want to keep the lines really free-flowing so I get the general impression of the whole fabric knot. Now we can draw some of the details on top of this loose sketch, looking at some of the lines and using more pressure with this 4B pencil to make a darker line. We can draw some parts of the shapes that we see, rather than the whole shape. I just try to draw them as shapes, a series of lines and curves, which should, hopefully over time, all work together to create a framework. And although the framework is very useful, we mustn't take it for granted that it's correct or right, because in my experience, I find that when you're drawing from observation, there's always more things to notice. So at every stage, I'm looking to see how I can correct assumptions and observations that I made earlier with the new information that I've just noticed. That's why it's quite a good idea, rather than trying to draw everything that you think is there, you just draw parts of what you see as you see them. So you see a little bit of a curve or a part of a line or the way a piece of fabric goes underneath or over the top of another piece. And just for that one observation, you just draw that one thing that you've observed and you put it into the framework of the sketch that you have, knowing that you should and can alter anything if you see that it needs updating or correcting. So multiple stages of development of a drawing rather than thinking that it's a sort of step-by-step -step process where it just gets better all the time. It's a step-by-step -step process where your observation gets more accurate as time goes on because it takes a long time to really look at what you can see in front of you. Once we've got most of the lines where they need to be, we can start to add some tonal shading to the drawing. I look at a line and choose which side of the line is the darkest side tonally. And then we can just shade in that area that's darker. So if I start with a graded tone, as you go from dark to light, you just don't need to press down so hard with the pencil and the tone of the pencil will get lighter and you sort of pull it away from where you started. So if you start in the dark area, and then as you move the pencil away from the dark area, you make sure there are no gaps, and you press down less firmly and more lightly. And then you'll get a nice graded tone where you think that you'll need it. It will be useful to be able to put a graded tone. So for each of the lines or parts of the lines that we have drawn, it's good to look to see which side is the darker side of the line and start shading from that point. Again, using direct observation is about looking, observing what we actually see, not really drawing what we think should be there, but drawing what you can actually see. Some of these tones are very delicate and other areas of tone are quite high contrast, lots of lights and darks and sharp edges. To finish this drawing, we just need to add some more darker areas of tone. Some of the areas of tone might need smoothing over, so sometimes you can just smudge it with the size of an eraser or just the side of your hand or your fingers to blend the tones together. If you're interested in learning to draw with more confidence, please go to my website, Circle Line Art School, and sign up to my mailing list where I can send you more information. I think I'll erase this line now. I was going to use it as an edge of a shadow, but I don't think it needs to be there anymore. The last step is to add a really dark shadow at the base of the fabric. With a good soft 4B pencil, you can make a really dark black tone, and this will be useful because it will make the 
lighter parts of the fabric seem even brighter because they'll be contrast with the darker tone of the shadow. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find it useful for your own drawings. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share. I post a new video every week on my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, so please subscribe to watch all of my videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.